In 1964, Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev figured that civilizations can be categorized by the total amount of energy available to them. He defined three levels of civilizations based on their capacity to harness and use power. These have since been expanded by another four. The Kardashev scale, as it is called, now lists seven levels of civilizations based on their power consumption and implicitly on the technological advancement and extension. A civilization that harnessed the energy of its home planet, but not to its full potential just yet. As you might have guessed, that's our good old human selves. We are currently at about 0.73 on the Kardashev scale. It is presumed we reach type 1 in about 100 years, give it or take, depending how fast our technology advances. Type 1, a civilization that is capable of harnessing the total energy of its home planet. This is where we're heading. The good part would be that we'd achieve an ultimate peak. The bad part is that we'd have soon more energy demand than supply, because evolution can't be so easily halted. We'd have to leave Earth and start pumping other planets for their worth, or even milk our own star directly for its power. Regardless, becoming a Type 1 civilization is overall a good thing, at least in fiction. As a Type 1 civilization, we would be capable of controlling Earth entirely, maybe even influence the weather, control volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, influence global flora and fauna, geological makeup, plate tectonics, etc. Type 2 an interstellar civilization capable of harnessing the total energy output of a star. This is the next stage in the evolution of a civilization and presumes a level of technological development that allows for gigantic constructions and utmost efficiency. Dyson structures come to mind here, which are gigantic constructs meant to harness the energy of stars. I imagine a Type 2 civilization would not just build these mega structures, but also inhabit them and completely control what goes on inside them. It would control the orbit of all planets in that system, harvest asteroids and comets at its leisure, and basically consume the entire solar system, an intimidating power to behold. Type 3 A galactic civilization capable of inhabiting and harnessing the energy of an entire galaxy. A Type 3 civilization would spend the entire galaxy colonizing and controlling numerous systems. It would be able to harness, store and use the energy output of all stars within that galaxy. Such a civilization would use planets like building blocks, being able to move planets from one solar system to another, merge solar systems, merge stars, absorb supernovae and even create stars. The galaxy is their playground and everything in it becomes a toy. Type 4 A universal civilization capable of harnessing the energy of the whole universe. This civilization would be super galactic, able to travel throughout the entire universe and consume the energy output of several, possibly all galaxies. Think of that real estate size. It would also be capable of projects of gigantic proportions, such as manipulating space-time and reaching immortality on a grand scale. An essential, indestructible and highly utopian civilization. Type 5. A multiverse culture capable of harnessing the energy of multiple universes. Welcome to metaphysics. Leave your common sense at the door and count your strings before entering. A Type 5 civilization would span countless parallel universes and being able to manipulate the very structure of reality. Even more abstract is the Type 6 civilization. The Type 6 exists outside of time and space and is capable of creating universes and multiverses and destroying them just as easily. It's similar in a concept to a deity. It's hard to imagine a story with such a civilization, since its perfection and indestructible nature would offer little conflict potential. Unless, of course, you are a lover type civilization, waiting to be chewed, swallowed and diggest by one such type 6 monstrosity. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video and don't forget to like it. Thanks for watching, your David.